Hi, this is Kavita Suresh Kumar and I am going to demonstrate how to build an IBM HTTP server production Docker image using the Docker files available in GitHub. Let us start the demo by reviewing the project IBM HTTP server in the GitHub. The Docker files for building the IHS that is the IBM HTTP server for both the island version and the production version is available under the project ca.docker.ibm-http-server. So uh, in this demo, we are going to build a IBM HTTP server production image. So here we could see two Docker files, dockerfile.prereq and the dockerfile.install and a readme and a startup script. Let us see the readme. The readme gives information about the binaries that need to be downloaded from the passport advantage and the fix central for building the Docker image of IBM HTTP server. And here we are going to use two Docker files for building the image to reduce the final image size. The dockerfile.prereq, it is going to perform all the installation and when a container is started using the image created out of the dockerfile.prereq, it is going to create a tar of the installation. And the dockerfile.install is going to use the tar file, extract the tar file and copy the required files and it is going to start the HTTP server during the container startup. Here we could see the step-by-step -step instructions for building the IBM HTTP server production image. And then here we have information for running the IBM HTTP server production image. Let us go and review the dockerfile.prereq. The dockerfile.prereq, it uses Ubuntu 14.04 as a base image and it takes one build time variable. So that is the URL where you have placed the binaries, installation binaries. And then it is going to install the installation manager and using the installation manager, it is going to install HTTP server, web server plugins, WCT and upgrade them using the relevant fix pack binaries. And when the container is started, it is going to create a tar file of the installation. So the tar file, it is going to have the complete installation of HTTP server and the installation of plugins uh, without the Java folder and then it is just going to have it have the WCT folder. Now let us go and review the dockerfile.install. So in the dockerfile.install we are going to extract the tar file created by the dockerfile.prereq and then we are going to copy the IHS start script and then we are going to create a link, the Java link of the HTTP server to the plugins as well as the toolbox. IHS server will be started using the script IHS start during the container startup. Now let us copy the URL of the project. Let us start building the image by cloning this repository. Let us launch the docker quick start terminal. The quick start terminal has been launched and here the docker is configured to use the default virtual machine with the IP 192.168.99.100. This IP will be using to access the IBM HTTP server running in the docker container. Now let's go to the GitHub folder. Now let us clone the repository. So JIT clone and the repository URL. So the repository is getting cloned and it has gone cloned successfully. So let us get into the repository folder. So we are going to build the production image. So let's go to the production folder. So now we are going to build the prereq image. So for that we need to give docker build hyphen hyphen build arc we are going to pass the uh, build time variable argument for the build time variable url then the image name which is i have just 
star then we are going to give the docker file name and then the folder where we have the docker file i have already created one image for the using the docker file dot prereq because it is since it is going to take a lot of time for downloading the binaries and building and in this build process you you are seeing that it had it has been using the different cache layers uh, from my previous build and it has successfully built the new image so let us verify that docker images ahs tar so we could see the image has been built successfully now let us create a container using this prereq image to create the tar file so docker run so we don't want to leave this container active so we'll give minus hyphen hyphen rm then we'll give minus v and then we want that to be returned in this folder so we'll give pwd and then we'll mount this to temp and then we will give the image name which is the ihs tar so the tar file is getting created so now we could see the tar file has been created now let us create the install build docker build minus t the image name so let's give the name as i just and then the docker file name docker file dot install and then we'll give the current folder name so it is pushing the contents to the docker daemon so which means the tar file is getting pushed to the docker daemon and now it is extracting the tar file so the tar file has been extracted and the linking is done and now we have got the ahs install image let's verify that docker images ahs so now we have successfully created the ahs production image now let us start a container using the ihs image we have created docker run so let's give the name of the container as ihs and the host name also ihs and then let's specify the port number and then we will be running this container in the background and then we'll specify the image name which is the ihs the container has been successfully started let's verify that docker Yes, minus e and we could see this container is up and running for six seconds let's verify that in the browser okay. HTTP, then the vm ip address so we could see the ibm http server is running successfully in the docker container so as part of this demo we have seen how to build the IBM HTTP server production image using the docker files available in the GitHub and how to run a container using the image built. Thanks for watching the demo.